hey guys, let's solve some systems by graphing. So uh, I'm gonna use these linear systems as review today. So uh, first let's talk about what a system of equations is. A system of equations is basically when you have multiple equations, multiple creating a system, right? So here in this first example, you see we have uh, two linear functions and I've done what IXL is claiming are the most difficult problem. So we have two different equations, hence the system, and we need, we need to basically find a coordinate x, y that when I evaluate into both of them creates a true statement, all right? So there's uh, usually just one, one, one such coordinate, all right? The way that we do these problems is very simple. We need to uh, basically graph both of these, which it, it uh, lets me graph them, all right? And um, after that, I need to basically uh, find their intersection, okay? So I'm going to attempt to graph equals negative thirds minus one, all right? Y equals negative one thirds X minus one. So I'm going to go with uh, Y intercept of minus one. And I am going to go down one over three. And there it is. Y equals negative one third X minus one. My uh, second one, or really my first one, X minus three Y equals nine. For me to, to graph this, I usually like to have this in slope intercept form. So I'm going to do, do some quick work right, right here. So I'm going to put x on the other side. I have negative 3x equals 9 minus x, all right? And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3. So I get y equals 9 divided by negative 3 plus x over 3 because I had a negative divided by a negative. Um, so... I'm going to rewrite this, and 9 divided by negative 3 gives me negative 3. And then I am going to write the uh, divided by 3 as a 1 third, all right, plus 1 third x. So there we have it. Uh, this is really just negative 3 plus 1 third x, all right? So let's go negative 3, and then plus 1 third x means up 1 over 3. And boom, there we go. So our intersection point is at 3, negative 2, meaning that that must be the solution to my system. 3, negative 2. Before you finish your answer, one thing that you could do to make sure in case there was any errors, is you can evaluate, and actually you should do this. You should evaluate, right? x equals 3 and y equals negative two. So you should evaluate these equations by substituting your three, your x, and your negative two for your y. So I'm just gonna do a, a quick mental math check. Uh, three minus uh, three times negative two. So negative three times negative two is six. Three plus six is nine. So it works for this first one. And then I can check the second one, negative one third times three gives me negative one. Negative one minus one is negative two. So it checks out. I know that my solution is correct. Um, in other words, the solution to a system is the intersection of the two functions. Um, this is why I was telling you that you should be prepared for this because this is what we did uh, two objectives ago when we would find the uh, intersection. Um, the good news is not only should you be able to solve linear systems, but you should be able to solve any system uh, as long as you can graph the, the functions then, you know, if you can graph the functions, then basically you can find their intersection, right? Other thing is if you're having trouble graphing these uh, the way that IXL is asking you to graph them, uh, if you're having trouble graphing them by hand, you can always go over to Desmos and graph them there, all right? But this is also a good review of how to put uh, these linear functions back in slope intercept form. So um, just to double check, we're going to submit our answer, and it says that we should keep it up. So fantastic, that is solving by graphing. And hopefully that works for you guys. And uh, you can check out this tutorial over and over and pause it and ask any questions. Okay, cool. Hope you guys have a good one.